Hey guys, it took us all the way to day 169 of New Zealand's biggest gap year to finally check out Macklin's Falls. So here you go, today we are in the Catlins and we're checking out Macklin's Falls and the Tōtuku Estuary. Alright, see you at the end of the video with the questions you had the first time we published it. This morning we hit the road before the rain. So we are making our way to the beautiful Macklin's Falls. It is a very short walk, very well maintained. Another one in the Catlins. We are here early morning thanks to the fact that we are staying at the Whistling Frog Resort, which is literally only about two kilometers down the road from McLean Falls. As you saw from the sign, it's only a 40 minute return to these falls, but the walk to get there is well worth it as we're making our way through this absolutely stunning forest. We are walking through huge tree fuchsia, stands of oleorea and podocarp forest, including Rimo and Kamahi. As you can see, we read all the information signs on the way there. The awesome things about tackling a hike like that in early morning is that we have the whole track for ourselves. There is not a soul around and there are heaps of birds surrounding us. They are barely awake and they are all tweeting in the morning. It's super awesome. I'm really impressed by the track, it's super well maintained, it's a wide gravel track, really easy steps, foot bridges, it's a really easy hike for anyone to tackle. But I really love also all the stuff that there is to see along the way on the Maclean Falls track, there's heaps of waterfalls, and when I say heaps, it's really a lot of them, and most of the waterfalls are multiple tier making them absolutely picture perfect. But because we're here to see the majestic Maclean Falls, we are already back on the track making our way even higher up on the cliff. Laura and I are really eager to go and meet this massive Macklin Falls. We have seen heaps of pictures of it, but we never seen it in person just yet. So that's going to be our first encounter with the Macklin Falls, which has been named after Douglas Macklin, which was an early settler of the area. And as soon as we arrive in front of the stunning Macklin Falls, we are nothing short of impressed. This has to be one of the most scenic waterfalls we have seen in New Zealand so far. It feels like it's never ending. The waterfall drops 22 meters and it has all these different perfect tiers to it. This waterfall is a photographer's dream and soon enough all the different tiers to this waterfall make us feel drawn to getting onto that waterfall and start climbing it. Robin is leading the way on these natural steps that seem to be perfectly formed for climbing. We are making our way to the top section of McLean Falls, which is this lovely long drop waterfall into a plunge pool below, absolutely surrounded by vibrant green moss. Laura and her camera are having the time of their lives right here. Laura is known for taking a lot of pictures. On an average day, we actually take between 1,000 and 1,500 pictures, believe it or not. But right now, just right in front of this waterfall, she must have been taking 2,000 because I've never seen her spend that long behind the camera in front of the waterfall. But to be honest, this is probably one of the most picturesque waterfalls we've seen so far. And one of the interesting facts is that this waterfall is fed by the Tōtuku River, which is a very cool place in the Catlins, and this is something that we're going to be exploring a little bit more this afternoon, as we are now heading toward the Tōtuku Estuary, which is where the river meets the sea. Yay! Made it through! <laughs> The walk downhill is going to take us exactly the same way that we actually came back up. It's a one-way track and it usually takes between 20 to 40 minutes depending on your level of fitness to go back and forth to the falls. But one of the very striking things for us is that because we spent that long on top of the waterfall, time has passed tremendously and the forest is much quieter on the way down. We feel really lucky and privileged to have come here very early morning and have seen it so alive with so many birds tweeted it tweeting while we were making our way up. We're super happy that we took the time to come and visit McLean Falls, especially compared to the little bit of a disappointment that we got the other day when we visited the New Zealand version of Niagara Falls. You should definitely check that video out though if you get the chance. But anyway, we are now hitting the road to our second activity of the day. I got absolutely soaking at McLean Falls. The waterfalls went right into my shoes. 
so I need to get changed. To be honest, I don't really know why I'm changing my clothes because the rain is coming and I'm only going to get soaked again. The Tartuku Estuary is a pleasant little walk taking only about 30 minutes return. The first part of this walk goes through beautiful Podocat Forest where we can see all these awesome roots in the trees and this whole section has actually used to be an old coach road. Although the hike through the forest is absolutely stunning with towering trees and the wind blowing them making it an entire show for us to watch, one of the best things of this entire walk is as soon as we arrive on the boardwalk in the actual estuary. This really gives us an entire feel of what it is like for a river to meet the ocean or the sea or another massive body of water and what kind of ecosystem is living in that very specific part of the forest. Forest. The estuary is really famous for noisy fern birds, which are quite rare due to the lack of wetlands in New Zealand. The wetlands have been receding a lot, but we get to see some other wildlife because the fern birds are not here today. And we see a lot of little crabs. They seem to have a blast in this very wet environment, and we do see them feeding on a lot of little insects, which is quite interesting. The original plan was to come here at sunrise because it makes all those plants look super bright orange and so stunning. But sadly it was really overcast this morning and the rain was pouring down so we decided to move our plans around, head to Macklin Falls first and come here later. But if you get a chance to come at sunrise or sunset we definitely advise you to do so. It will look so much brighter. That concludes another awesome activity in the Catlins. Not only is there so many things to do here, but there are actually free things to do. So make sure to join us tomorrow for more of those activities. If it was summer, you plunge in the water. If it is winter, you freeze your balls. Don't jump in the water if it is winter. All right, so this morning we're waking up pretty early. Alright guys, so this video was part of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, which is a challenge that Laura and I decided to take out a couple of years ago where we had to do 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days. I hope you really enjoyed today visiting the Catlins. The Tochuku Estuary is an amazing place to visit and such a special ecological place. And the Macklins Falls, well, you know, they are iconic. Alright, so let's have a look at all the comments you guys had the first time we published it. All right, so the first comment that we had was for ch from Chasing Adeline that says, awesome, that looks amazing. Um, and she also she's also really surprised by how many pictures we're taking. Yes, we're taking thousands of pictures. And uh, he said, uh, I thought my wife was bad, but she only takes about 999 photos. And um, we also have Y in the wall that says 1,000 photos a day. That's too many, far too many. Think of the time it takes you to go through all, all of them just to view them. That's just too many. But yeah, we do have to take quite a lot of pictures because we're using um, this adventures right here to take also a lot of photos in order to illustrate the website nzpocketguide.com, which is the largest travel guide to New Zealand with thousands and thousands of articles to help you plan your trip to New Zealand. By the way, it's free of charge to you. So there's a link up there. You may want to check it out. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we do need to take that many photos. Uh, we also have Scotia's Place that says, wow, you changed our route on the Southern. We seriously watched this video and changed the route to include this. The falls the, in this area just looks amazing. So I'm really glad that it made you want to visit more places in New Zealand uh, that you initially planned. That's kind of one of the things that we do here on this channel. We do love to find you some hidden gems that then makes you feel like, damn, I'm going to have a couple of days to my itinerary. So but here you go. Um, I hope that you did find this video super useful. If you did, you may want to hit subscribe and hit like. It's a great free way to um, reward all our hard work. And join us during one of our live sessions. It's at 8 a.m. New Zealand time every single Sunday. It's a great fun time to hang out together. Bye-bye.